the oil price, and will the game changer be OPEC's meeting on November the 27th? The OPEC, as we know it as at the moment, is in trouble. Uh, we've seen uh, their, their market share has uh, been falling over the past few years. We're seeing this rapid rise in production from the US. It's really leaving the less ammunition as they, as they used to have. You see there's a battle going on between the Gulf states who perhaps can afford to take a more relaxed view and let the market decide on the price. But that's really causing trouble for the minnows and big problems too for the US shale producers, some of whom are really suffering with this OPEC laissez-faire attitude. That obviously is the main speculation at the moment because what is the reason behind Saudi Arabia allowing the oil suddenly to, to drop below their $100 target area down towards this $80 where we are right now? Is it a question of maintaining a market share or is it a question about getting a production cut elsewhere? Uh, you could argue that, uh, that it is a question of uh, trying to, to let other producers share the burden of this reduced demand that we're going to see over the next couple of years. So, um, so obviously lower prices for a longer period of time will also start to have an impact on production in the US. And I think actually they, that's probably what they would like to see. So, what to expect from the OPEC meeting? Well, Ola says it's likely production will be cut, but only down to 30 million barrels a day. That's already the stated and often missed target. And there's something else. I think the market at the moment, with especially considering that the first quarter of 2015 is probably going to be the time where we, we're going to see the biggest supply glut, that they might actually need to do more than that. So, so at the moment, I think the market is leaning towards a, a cut of a, in, the, in the region of a, a million barrels but maintaining the target. So they say, well, just in the near term, we're going to produce a bit less, but we maintain our target of 30 million. Don't forget, we could also soon get a deal with Iran. Sanctions could be lifted. They could start being in the game once again. So what to expect from the oil price, pre-OPEC and post the OPEC meeting? Brent crude is currently stuck below $80, and I think it will remain stuck there because if they fail to reach an agreement, we could possibly see Brent crude trade down towards $70. That would bring WTI down to in the mid-60s, and that would definitely start to hurt uh, some of the producers in the US. So, so 80 is, is, the, uh, is the top at the moment, and potentially down to 70. As we move into, the, uh, into 2015, I think we'll have a first quarter where, with quite a low average price, probably in the region of $75 to $80. As we move further into 2015, we'll start to see potential impact from US producers where the supply growth is slowing and that, that means we could move potentially back up towards the $90 area as we move into the second half of 15. But, but just over the next three months, that's probably what, where we're going to see the low point in crude oil.